Tim Unkert here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the JetBrains mono font on Windows. So the first thing you need to do is open up a browser and let's search for JetBrains mono font. Hit enter and we'll come to this link. JetBrains.com forward slash LP slash forward slash mono. Then accept all the cookie settings and download the font. That's going to download in a zip file. So I'll go to my downloads and I'll right click and extract all and extract it. Okay, I'm gonna go into here, into fonts. I like to use the TTF, so I'm gonna go here, click on that, go all the way down, hold shift and click on it to highlight everything and then right click and click install. And that's gonna install all the TTF files in my fonts. And there we go. Uh, so I can go back to downloads and actually delete this and delete this. And let's just test it out. I'll show you in VS Code. So I'm going to open up VS Code here. I have a little C program. If I do control comma, that brings me up to my settings. Let me make the font size larger so you can see it first. Let's do 20. And if we go back here, we see the font, which is uh, by default on Windows Consolas. So I want to change it to JetBrains Mono. So I go here. And we'll go to right at the beginning and in between quotes, type JetBrains mono, end the quote, and do a comma. And now if we see here, we see like the parentheses a little bit different. It's a little bit taller for the font. But that's pretty much all there is to it, to uh, setting up JetBrains mono on a Windows machine. Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.